I'm Elvar Eilsson, I'm a composer. I am Paul Ragnar Paulsson and I'm a composer too. And we have been nominated for the Harpa Nordic Film Composers Award for our soundtrack to the film Quake by Tinna Hrapsdóttir. I was actually graduating at Iceland University of the Arts. It happened to be Paul Ragnar Paulsson. That was my mentor for all three years over there while I did my bachelor's. And then Paul Ragnar was like, oh yeah, I was actually asked to, to do this film and, and I was like, what film? And I was like, uh, Skjalti. And I was like, well, I have to do this with you. Like, it's it was just meant to be. It was meant to be, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, this was uh, totally new territory for me, although I've been in music basically all my life. Then, uh, yeah, it was very welcome. <laughs> he, he being an assistant, which very soon developed into be a full 50-50 partnership. When we had uh, realized this uh, piano and guitar relationship, so mm -hmm. he's playing the piano and I picked up my guitar, then uh, we realized this was a sound area we liked and with the addition of strings mm -hmm. and some voices, then we realized we had the uh, color palette of what we wanted to work with. Right from the beginning, I think it was like only the fifth day in the studio, and we kind of figured like, let's Let's go a little bit further and ask the sound guys. Like, let's get some material and see what they have. And they just sent us a, a, a bunch of stuff, you know, starting a car, all from the film. Wind noises, church bells, even like uh, traffic lights and stuff. And we just started like that. We just yeah. started manipulating sound, stretching it, making a tone, and, and then disguising it with a string. It became very, like a characteristic for, very the, characteristic. for the whole. Uh, soundtrack of the film. When we handed in the, the film, we were like, we're not done, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we wanted to make a kind of a soundtrack album that was not like they often tend to be, like uh, with uh, 40 tracks that are each of them 20 to 40 seconds long. Let's have fewer tracks and make them into, you know, proper songs. Yeah, like uh, as soon as you take you know, for instance, a dialogue away, which is the lead character, then you're kind of left with like, hmm, that's kind of like a, a blank canvas. So you add another lead, but it's musical. Yeah. So the film lives on in on, on a standalone as, as music only. We thought it was like a good way of uh, just, yeah, having fun with it and, and experimenting even further.